done, Watson. Holmes, you're playing bowls? Indoors? Not just any old bowls, Watson. Lawn bowling. Seriously? With your injury? No. Mrs. Hudson is going to murder you. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. Time to go. Would you care to join me? You're incorrigible. And where are we going, Holmes? I'm participating in the final stage of the annual tournament held by the London Archaeological Institute's Bowling Club. It's an official invitation. I'll just need to dress suitably and then we can leave. Holmes, aren't you really sure you want to wear that? This? Everyone dresses like this at the club. <laughs> that should be a sight worth seeing. I only hope our charming neighbor won't spot you like that. Mr. Holmes, you played very well yesterday. I'm obliged to you, Sir Charles. I play many outdoor sports. That's the key to my success. My friend Dr. Watson has decided to join me. Really? Mr. Holmes, would you like to see the first prize? A rare stone Mayan Kiche calendar. Mayan Kiche? Indeed. Their legendary king, Tekun Uman, has his statue just behind you. Although this one is a cast metal copy. That? Mm. Well, since only members may enter the clubhouse, we have exhibited the calendar outside. Please, explore. Good luck, Holmes. The statue of Takun Uman. This statue is made of metal. The great tournament of the London Archaeological Institute's Bowling Club. What a spectacular season. The first prize, the Mayan Kiche calendar. This will keep Watson happy. Mr. Holmes. I'm glad you are my opponent for the final. People call me Arthur the Invincible. <laughs> so I wish you good luck. Ah, Mr. Holmes, are you ready to begin the final game? Yes, let's start the final.
Congratulations on your game, Mr. Holmes. Exceptional. The award ceremony will be tomorrow morning. See you then to receive your prize of the calendar. I trust you will be there as well, Dr. Watson? Unfortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Duty calls. Ah, oh, what a pity. Let's go home. My congratulations, Mr. Holmes. Hello, Mr. Bouvier. Hello, Mr. Holmes. Well, Caitlin? <laughs> Your costume! <laughs> oh, don't you like it? Oh, I do! <laughs> Caitlin, come on. Show some respect for your father. You know, Father, Miss Alice was telling me all about her travels. She has already toured the world with her own father. Your daughter is exquisite. And just to think that she was aboard the Orient Express when it was attacked. <gasps> what a dream. Indeed. She's so creative and imaginative. And that reminds me, would you allow Caitlin to visit me so that she can practice playing the piano? Poor choice of instruments. I hate the piano. I'd rather her not. Oh, Father! Why did you say that? Caitlin, we are neighbours. We'll meet again. Until then, I shall leave you with this book. Thank you, Miss Alice.
Here it is. A statue did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Pfft. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now, don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. The iron mounting rod is broken. The surface is damaged. Traces of metal on stone. Pieces from the pedestal. A piece of the statue's mounting rod. Traces of metal on stone. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal. Scratches on the stone. A broken branch. Somebody jumped into the tree and then over the wall. Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... and... Well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it, I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. You saw the statue running. It, it was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. It was Zacharias Greystoke. 
He is... was a club member and an excellent bowler. But why was he here so early in the morning? Oh, I don't know. Sir Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament, with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Is the calendar valuable? Not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. The case is scratched and dented. Tissot watch. Swiss. 1855. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. Zacharias's folder with some documents. These drawings represent the Mayan symbols. Money was left inside the wallet. All valuables were left on the victim. The strike was powerful and well aimed. And what about the statue? I've no idea yet. I imagine a thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right. So they were thieves and they were very well equipped? Yes, must have been. But then there's also Sir Charles's version, but. Uh... Please go on. <laughs> he said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground and. Believe it or not. He said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away. <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Absurd, more like. Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar, and killed by the spear from Tukunuman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. If I believed Lestrade, this Mayan calendar was the reason behind the murder. Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant? My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. <laughs> Indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more.
Thank you for coming so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. I'm always Please, ready sir. to help any time, Release my son. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Tissot watch. Swiss. 1855. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Money was left inside the wallet. Oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message. No, I think I've missed something here. No, I think I've missed something here. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. I think I've missed something. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. Cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. They will meet their death by the risen statue. Only the Chosen will have mercy. 
It's not only a calendar, it's a curse. Zacharias Greystoke, a member of the club, was killed as the curse decreed. I'm always ready to help any time, Holmes. There's no need to disturb the Strahd for the time being. Red Eye, it looks like a serious infection. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced right through the body. Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently Zacharias had been drinking before his death. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. These scars are old. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no. Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then, take your warrant. So, he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh no, I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later.
Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue spear. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. The late Mr. Smith's collection. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. The late Mr. Robert's collection. This metal globe is very impressive. Some bits are missing. Some bits are missing. These antiques look quite valuable. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. Ah, Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. The 50th birthday of Lord Stevenson. Charles Yellingham has a large family. A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim.
Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. Zacharias Greystoke. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. I wonder who this man is. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh. All the items are from our club members. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, well, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. another person in the photograph is there anything I can do to help look here there's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph a dispute of some kind you think Watson possibly but it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America South America brilliant Watson happy to help is it deadly well there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him.
I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, he's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Keaton Street. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? It's that way. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I don't know. Possum Street. <sighs> Cranny Street. Cranny Street. Grub Street.
horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, he's in his office. There's a door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. A drawing of Takunuman. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. There were two large boxes. Fresh scratches. Something large and heavy was dragged here. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takunuman. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke, the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma, until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit! Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You a friend? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. That would be an understatement. 
He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how? What's your opinion on Takun Numan's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Takun Umar. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Takun Umar? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Takun Umar. Well, goodbye then. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. <laughs>